So on this channel, I'm starting a series called Free Alternatives in which I'm going to be going through some free alternatives for paid software that do almost the same job. So the use of these free softwares will help in reducing piracy and will also support the developers of these open source softwares. So this video is about Adobe Acrobat and in this video, I'll show you three alternatives that you can use in place of Adobe Acrobat to work with your PDFs and the best part is they're completely free. So keep watching. So the first software on this list is Sumatra PDF. Now if your workload involves of mostly reading PDF files and you just want a simple software that you can use to read your PDF files and Sumatra PDF is the best bet. Now this is extremely lightweight and it's frankly one of my favorite PDF readers. So what you have to do to download this is go to Google, search Sumatra PDF and go to the website and just uh, scroll down, click on download from here and just click on install. So after the installation just open it up and I'll quickly guide you through its basic functionalities. Now this PDF reader has all the basic functionalities that you could need in order to read your PDFs. It has a frequently read section in which you can find all the files that you read frequently and let's open up PDF file now. You can do stuff like find text and zoom in and zoom out. You can rotate your PDFs in whatever way you want. Now it has page layout options and that's pretty much it. So it's extremely lightweight, simple PDF reader and I suggest you go ahead with this one if you just want a PDF software to read PDF files. So now when it comes to editing PDFs, the best free software that I could find was free PDF by a softmaker. So in order to download this software, you have to go to getfreepdf.com. So once you're on this page, you just have to go ahead and click on download. Now it will take you to a page where you have to enter your name, country and email. So what it will do is it will send you an activation key on your email, which you will later use after the installation in order to activate the software. So once you've installed and activated this, let's go ahead and open it up. So as you can see, the UI looks pretty old, but it's completely functional and it has a lot of editing functions that you would need to edit your PDFs. Now I'll guide you through some of its basic functionalities. So let's quickly go ahead and open a PDF. Now, in order to add text to your PDF, you just have to click on this add text button on the toolbar and just uh, select the area in which you want your text to be and just go ahead and type your text. You can also change the alignment of the text in whatever way you want. Another pretty useful function is the highlight option uh, in which you just have to select the text that you want to highlight and just click on the highlight button on the toolbar. Now in order to add image to your PDF, you can just go ahead and click on object image and then click on insert. Alternatively, you can also press control plus shift plus T. So, so just select your image and click on open. Now you can select the position of the image and you can also resize in whatever way you want. Now it has a lot of other useful functions like extracting, replacing, deleting pages and a lot more other functionality. So when it comes to editing the PDFs, I think this is the best free software out there. Now the next one on the list is the PDF exchange editor. Now this is pretty popular among the Adobe Acrobat alternatives. So this is not completely free as it is here written that more than 70% of the features in PDF exchange editor do not require a license. And if you use the features that do require a license, it will place a watermark on the output of your PDF. Now in order to download PDF exchange editor, click on the download link on the right side of the page and it will download the setup file. 
Now once you're inside the setup, it will ask you if you want to use the free version of the software or you want to pay for it. So at that stage, you can just go ahead and click on the free version. Now once you're inside the software, you can see all these functions that you can use to edit your PDFs. Now let's go ahead and open a PDF. Now kind of the main con of this software is that you cannot add text to your PDF without getting the watermark. As it is denoted here in the card symbol that adding the text is a pro feature of this software. Apart from that, all the functions that you will usually use are free and you can use them without getting the watermark. So if you want a free software to read and edit your PDFs and you don't mind missing out on a few features, then you can go ahead with the PDF exchange editor. So that was it for this video, guys. If you like these alternatives, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, then subscribe the channel and I will see you guys in the next one.